Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Meyer from Tom Bush BMW over here at Orange Park, Florida. Hey, let's take a quick look at the 2022 BMW X3 M40i. So right here, this is the brand new 2022 BMW X3 M40i. She is fresh off the truck, has X drive, and is in dark graphite metallic. It is absolutely beautiful. And of course it does have um, the 2022 refresh on there. So this is the LCI X3. So of course the original one came out in 2018 for this generation. Um, and this has been refreshed for 2022. But as you can see, dark graphite metallic. Full LED headlights. They light up absolutely beautiful at night, guys. I've seen a few of these on the road already up here in Jacksonville, Florida. It's just absolutely beautiful. M badge right there. If this was an X3M, the full on X3M, it would say X3 right there, and then you would have the M badge as well. But for the mid range M performance models, you are going to get the M distinction right here. This one is in transport mode, keep in mind. So um, some of the functions aren't working until it gets PDI'd, but I am making this video for a good customer of mine. So let's, let's take a look around for them. This does have the 360 camera system on there. So for, for you, sir, for you, Adam, um, and this one will have all the equipment you guys are looking for. So you do have the 360 camera system right there, parking sensors. Gloss black wheels, this is a new option for 2022. It is beautiful. I really, really like these wheels quite a bit. Of course, you get the four piston brakes up front. I believe these are four piston, I could be off. I'm still on a BMW, but plenty of stopping power for sure. And they're painted in that beautiful blue. Really, really cool. So this actually does get the M mirrors now. So if you guys have ever noticed like the M3, the M4, going even go back to the E90 generation for the M3, for those, for those car guys out there, this is gonna have the flared mirrors right there. It is really, really cool. So such a nice touch to have on an M Sport model, not just, or a performance model, and not just a full on M. So that's a really special feature for these new M Sport models. You do have three cameras up there. This is for the adaptive cruise controls. So it is a $1,700 driver's assistance package. So it's really, really accurate. It's one of the best systems I've ever tested compared to Audi, Mercedes, Maserati. But yes, they actually do have a decent system. And then you also do have Audi as well. So Audi and Porsche, but BMW system is one of the best. It really keeps you in your lane and works very well. Here's another camera. The other mirror has the same camera. And then of course you do have one on the back tailgate. Of course, this is an M40 model. So you do get the three liter inline six. And of course you get the M badging on the vehicle. So that indicates that you do have the inline six cylinder, which is a three liter single turbo inline six called the B58. More on that in a few minutes. You have the tailpipes down there, the the two um, the two tailpipes that usually come with the mid-range M Sport models. Check out the interior. So Adam, this one does have the upgraded Vernasca leather interior, just like your 2017 X3. And for all you guys, this is the most updated, um, this is the, the most upgraded leather that you can get on an M Performance model or M Sport. There are definitely two different terms for that. Beautiful wood right here, exposed trim, solid metal buttons. Really, really nice and premium. There's BMW's Hi-Fi sound system right there. Sorry for the glare. This one does have the pretty rare cooled seat option as well. So you can get ventilated seats along with heated seats. This one does have the premium package. M Sport steering wheel, and you do get a heated steering wheel. Here is the functional controls for the adaptive cruise control system. It is, it's been, it's easier than ever before. I will say that. There's the live cockpit pro, gives you all the information you need. It's 
It is not activated as of right now because it, the car is still in transport mode. And then of course you do get that 12.3 inch touchscreen. That is new for 2022 and it is one of the best in the business. And of course you do have all the dash controls right here. Like I said, I do apologize for the glare. Let's try to do this in a quick one take. Of course, you get, do get the panoramic sunroof. I can't open it as of right now due to the, of course, the uh, being in transport mode. Here's the home link system for the garage door opener. It's actually pretty easy to do on this car. So it's definitely not a nightmare like some of the other German brands. We'll leave it at that. We'll pop the hood. With every BMW, you do have to pop it twice. It's just, um, you know what? It's just to keep the rigidity of the hood when you're going at Autobahn speeds. So. For this car, it's 20, 155 miles an hour top speed. Sun shades for the back. Yep, nice and nifty. Climate controls to the back. Um, you can get heated seats as an option, but as of right now, you just get the three zone climate control, which will keep everybody comfortable, and two USBs. Let's take a look. Just really, really nice. Plenty of space back here. I'm six foot five, so all you guys can definitely fit back here pretty comfortably. Of course, the door pockets right there. I'm gonna pull Rady's rides real quick. Yes, you can get some. Yes, you can get some Twinkies and whatnot. You can get Mountain Dew right there, Gatorade, you name it. So yeah, yeah, I need to come up with my own thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, looks like it's not activated as of right now because of transport mode. But of course, fully automatic tailgate. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this car does have 28 cubic feet of cargo space, so you're definitely going to have plenty of room. This one does have mats as well, just um, standard cloth floor mats. You can get optional rubber mats as an option. It's going to be an additional fee. Down here, that is where the spare tire would be, but this one does not have that option since it does have the um, standard run flats. So you can go up to 50 miles on the tires alone. So that's not too bad at all. I mean, if you get a flat, you can at least drive over to a tire shop without having to change one on the side of the road. There's your tow hook, God forbid you ever need that, but it is good to have. And of course you do have tie downs down here. So if you need to tie any luggage, you of course can put anything down here and everything will be good power outlet back here 12 volt power outlet really nice lighting integrated right here into the back and then of course you do get the cargo cover and then to release very simple i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys have done that before okay it is not activated so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way for right now Protective wrap up course, or of course up top. So, I mean, hey, if you're gonna get, you know, a $66,000 car, you might as well protect the paint in some way or another. Just pull up once you undouble latch it. So it does say M performance right there on top of the engine cover. It covers an amazing V58 three liter inline six car does have, uh, from what I remember, 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. You're looking at performance figures of 4.4 seconds, 0 to 60, and a top speed of 155 when equipped with the right tires. Otherwise, typically, most BMWs with all seasons are limited at 130 for safety reasons. Start tower bracing right here. Make this car excellent in the corners. There you go. engine is absolutely amazing very solid adam this inline six you're not going to be disappointed with it that is for sure wiper fluid jump points right there and then of course cool with reservoir if you ever do need to top it off for any reason make sure the car is off um, and not too hot 
Um, otherwise, you know, let all the coolant will just fly out at you. You definitely don't want to do that. Well, I'll get it in just a minute, but. Well, guys, that's been a tour of the 2022 BMW X3 M40i. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My direct line to my desk phone is 904-562-7389. And my email is ryan.meyer, M-E-Y-E-R, at tombush.com. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for y'all. Thank you.